Hello, my name is Vosk, Drew Vosk, and uh, I'm just absolutely infatuated with cryptocurrency mining, chasing passive income with my own little computer employees. That's a very boring, broad thing to say, uh, but let me try to get to what I actually mean here. Mining without a huge electricity bill, huh? Maybe you're interested now. Even if hardware is expensive, or maybe it's not, as long as your electricity bill doesn't go through the roof, then hopefully things pan out in the long run. That logic is one of the main pieces that made helium mining so popular. Helium mining, to be blunt, has uh, since then taken a terrible turn. There's also Chia, XCH mining, or really it's called farming. It's where you're mining with your hard drives. And ultimately, it's a much more energy efficient, at least that's the way it's in position, way to be mining cryptocurrency. So today, I want to talk a little bit about why I'm so incredibly unenthused with helium. And why, although I'm pretty interested in Chia farming, it's not panning out to be the most lucrative endeavor so far. As always, on the Voscoin YouTube channel, it's no fluff, just stuff, bringing you real world mining data, my experiences, and of course, my super cute dog. That's gonna be Tails, who is ironically and unapologetically a Dogecoin. So helium pumped 22% in the last 24 hours, right? And it got a little bit of buzz, little people talking about it because uh, it's been down only for quite a while, right? I mean, we zoom out over the last year. Um, it's been bad and there has been some points of relief and so forth, but yeah, um, that price trajectory has been terrible. Yet helium and the HNT Solana token now by the way they ditched their own blockchain because they just didn't want to figure it out ultimately uh, even though they had hundreds of millions of dollars in funding but alas uh so we're in 134 still all right and let's compare that to chia because that's going to be the other project we focus on in today's video chia is ranked 129 so actually pretty close to helium there mark cap 265 both of these coins are down massively from their all-time highs. Chia is down 98%. Helium is down 97%. But Chia has a very strong community, a lot of supporters, a lot of believers, and they continue to build and ship. Helium, I can't say, I can't say the, the same things, right? If you're unfamiliar with Helium, Helium ironically boasted being the people-powered network, yet they never did anything to protect their users from some honestly fraudulent manufacturing companies and they were gatekeepers to helium miners they took away the ability to diy your own helium mining rig whereas chia has never done that chia wants you to make your own hard drive mining rig to basically run their network helium crowdsourced a LoRa or basically a radio a network uh, through their helium hotspot miners. They are very happy to boast about their 936,000 hotspots, but their data is actually atrocious because they have less than 50% of their hotspots online. That goes to show you how many people spent several hundred dollars on a helium miner and yet either don't know or don't care enough to set it up. I even have a 5G helium miner that I have just continually put it down on my to-do list, low, okay? And I, I just have not gotten to set, set that thing up. I had it in the winter. So who knows, maybe I'll look back and be like, ah, I should have set that thing up. But ultimately, I, I don't have really much belief, confidence, and above all, enthusiasm when it comes to the Helium project. What did get me pretty interested in Chia mining was the low price point for the coins per day, the high amount of uh, dollars or basically new coins minted per day 
in conjunction with the Evergreen Miner, right? Shameless plug, we have an affiliate link, punch in the code BOSSCOIN to save some coin. Tell them you want the 12 terabyte expansion pack for free too as well. These miners brought a similar joy to me that I had in my initial helium mining experience where I was mining a fair amount of coin, right? There's a lottery function or basically when you hit a block and you get bonus rewards. I'll explain more about that here in a second. And the setup was easy, right? They created their own app, basically made it easy to get started and onboard. That's cool, that's fun. And that's much like it was in the beginning of my Helium days. Ironically, Helium became so bogged down, the app became a terrible experience. Evergreen and uh, their Evergreen mobile app has still been good so far as they continue to add features to it. They're trying to kind of build it out to be like a MetaMask, uh, but for the Chia blockchain. If you want a quick comparison to what Chia is, if you're familiar with Bitcoin and Ethereum, Consider it kind of a mashup of both, right? So I have three of their Evergreen Miner Starter Kit Pros. Uh, these are their big kits. These are their expensive kits. All right, uh, they report that they have 158 terabytes. Uh, their effective space is, you know, on average like 147 uh, terabytes. Okay, these were much more profitable half a year ago. Uh, really, one of my miners was making about this many dollars per day uh the chia prices have been a little lackluster uh and it's not a hot crypto market so i don't really expect too much different uh but right now i'm mining basically for xch a month and that at current prices is about 127 dollars keep in mind the mining rigs i'm talking about they cost about two thousand eight hundred dollars so my electricity bill for running this is near nothing let's estimate on the high side okay that's five bucks a month uh so i, I struggle to even think it costs that much to operate so let's just take a round number here let's say we're pocketing 125 dollars after we pay our electricity bill of literally a couple dollars okay so if we're pulling 125 bucks it would take us 22 and a half months to break even it's a pretty long time and in that period right we would mine about four coins a month a little bit of a round rounding in our favor here but basically you would mine uh you know about 90 xch and up with about three thousand dollars this begs the question why don't you just buy the coin also why have our mining earnings gone down so much over the last few months because the chia blockchain is still producing as many xch per day Okay, let's kind of take this piece by piece. And uh, what do you think of my new chair? I, I don't know if I, maybe I should put a green screen cloth on it so you don't see, but I just get sick of seeing that green screen color. But I do so much on screen stuff, right? That I don't really want to take up more of the space with just, you know, my, my background over here, but I don't know, maybe it wouldn't be the biggest loss. I don't know, sorry, I just, I'm, I'm honestly asking for input because, uh, you know, you being the viewer here of this video, I mean, what you think and want is ultimately the most important thing when it comes to just making a video. So I would really appreciate if you take a couple seconds down in the comments and let me know your thoughts on that. I like this chair though, it's much more comfortable. I've never had an expensive uh, chair. Whoopsh, who knows what chair it is with that hint. So on that note, right, let's get back to the point of focus here. Uh, why don't you just buy the coin? I mean, sure you could. It's kind of boring that way. Um, if you operate mining as a business, there are tax advantages. Consult a professional, not financial advice, all the disclaimer stuff. Ultimately, I love mining and, and everything around it. I think it's a lot of fun. It's engaging. keeps me super busy in a fun way. And with the you know potential upside of you know making some sweet cash, some sweet coin, right? When I said you know lottery earlier, or I talk about um, you know maybe earning a little bit more than the projection. Uh, that largely comes down to hitting blocks. I had a little bit of a dry spell, but I'm back, baby. Five days ago, I smashed a block. And why does that matter other than bragging rights? Well, what's really, really cool about uh, the way Chia mining or farming is set up is that when you hit a block, you get a farmer reward. And that means you get 0.25 XCH. This is baked into the protocol. This never touches the mining pool, goes straight to you, straight to your wallet. That's a very cool and, to be frank, just beautiful thing. Thanks to Farmer Rewards, I've mined in almost an additional two Chia uh, as opposed to what I would have expected. 
as well as uh, been projected to earn. One of the big changes that has happened in Chia this year has been plot compression. Basically, this came out this year. Plot compression really results in higher mining capabilities. So you take this 18 terabyte hard drive, no compression, 165 K32 plots baseline. With level one compression, you end up with 191 K32 plots, right? And, and just to kind of keep this relatively brief, with the higher level of compression, you have more density, basically you're getting 16% more rewards and the power difference is negligible. You know, level seven compression, you end up with 30% more rewards and this does come at a higher power cost to the farm. There are a lot of plotters out here that can help you achieve compression, right? Here's a thread off Chia's form. Mad Max has been in from the start, Sprag reports here. And if you have some questions, I really invite you to head over to the Voscoin Talk forum and engage with the community, ask questions there, especially also join the Voscoin Discord server. We have a dedicated HDD mining channel and there's some incredibly talented uh, Chia farmers in there that can just get you situated, get you straight real fast. Chia Network, with the Twitter handle, the Chia Project, continues to build, they continue to, de to develop, right? They have more and more things coming out that add features and, and more so to their blockchain and, and ultimately, you know, their, their network. Uh, so this is cool to see. One thing that people don't know, may not know, is that Chia, the company, the parent company, the real company running Chia, right? It's not like some Satoshi Nakamoto style, who the hell is this doing all this crazy stuff, business, like uh, operation. Uh, Chia is an absolute business. They're looking to IPO, going public, right? They're sitting on a bunch of Chia. They're sitting on a bunch of money. They're looking to raise a bunch of money and then dump a bunch of fuel on that fire. Ultimately, if anything about Chia is appealing, getting in now versus in a couple years, obviously now is going to be the better time. And I can say that with certainty. Uh, there is the Chia having on the horizon, something I'm pretty concerned about because it's projected to happen uh, in March of 2024. And it will literally cut the amount of Chia mine per day in half. Right now, Chia is mining about $315,000 worth of new Chia coins. That's based off of 9,216 Chia coins per day. That'll be cut in half, right? So if nothing else changed, I would make half as much money per day mining or farming Chia. And nobody really wants to see their earnings, their salary, their, you know, their stacks of fat cash, yo cut in half or at least their income goes uh, the good news is the power cost to operate all this stuff is so incredibly freaking low uh, but the plot really thickens with me at least because i'm building a hard drive mining shed and my goal is simply to have this up finished operational done farming away i should say in the fields uh, by the end of quarter three this year, 2023. I've gone through a lot of ideas, iterations, and uh, my initial plan was to you know, drop around five Gs. Uh, before you know it, the price kind of comes up to $10,000. And I think really by the time this is all said and done, uh, I'm gonna be really looking at 15 grand in infrastructure um, if I proceed with, with what I'm doing. This was a lot more interesting when I was basically earning more money mining Chia. So you can see this screenshot, right? This screenshot was from several months ago. The exact date doesn't necessarily matter uh, because we can see that I was mining three XDH a month approximately, right? Well, really I'm mining 2.8, right? And so if I added a third mining rig, I would be mining. 1.4 plus 2.8 would be 3, 4.2 XCH a month, right? Uh, but now I'm only earning 3.8 XCH a month and I've added that third rig to the equation. The way I look at this is it may not be as lucrative as I had originally hoped for, but I'm not really mining for today either, right? You know, I'm banking on, you know, stacking up hundreds, hopefully, you know, into the thousands of XCH coins. 
and then the price appreciates, right? If we hit a new all-time high, crazy, cool, incredible, gonna be a hell of a time. But there's a lot more Chia in the ecosystem. But if they can prove, you know, to create a lot more use, demand, and, you know, everything like that, then maybe that higher price is warranted. How about we look at it this way? What good cryptocurrency doesn't hit a new all-time high in the most recent cryptocurrency bull run, right? We'll take pretty much the top 10 coins, Dodge and Stable coins and coin clones and stuff like that, right? 2021 crypto bull run, all-time high Bitcoin, right? Ethereum, 2021 bull run, all-time high. BNB, 2021 bull run, all-time high. Cardano, 2021 bull run, all-time high. Dogecoin, 2021 bull run, all-time high. Solana, which is some people's least favorite coin, 2021, all-time high. Litecoin, even eked out an all-time high in 2021 with incredibly lackluster performance compared to the uh, 2017 cryptocurrency bull run. My point here being simply that all else things considered, Chia could be a hell of a ride and they continue to push forward. You know, th that's interesting and that's intriguing to me. You could try to say similar things about Helium, but I think that so many people are just so burned, uninterested and just kind of disgusted with helium and the irony that they're called the people's network yet i feel like at every turn every step they never listen to the people you know i don't want to sound so angry i don't want to sound so ex-girlfriendish right the love ain't there and it's just a solana token now right i mean like you don't even have your own chain why do you have a miner it's just starting to feel real fabricated right if you believe in the stock to flow model for bitcoin and you apply that to Chia, well, let's check this out. Basically using the stock to flow model, you can see that right now it thinks that Chia should be valued, you know, around $280, $300 bucks. And probably when the next bull run hits in 2024, 2025, this coin should be valued somewhere between $600 and $1,200. Maybe that new all-time high, at least per the stock to flow model, wouldn't be realistically achievable if this was a smooth linear thing, you know, until 2026. Uh, for me, one, I'm fine waiting until 2026 to make, you know, wild returns like that if that's what it takes. This Chia mining endeavor is very expensive to start up. Uh, you know, hard drives are relatively expensive. I know I've really only shown those evergreen miners, but again, you can DIY your own Chia miners. You can make your own XCH farmers and you can basically deploy a whole HDD server, right? And apply it to mining these Chia coins. And while I've only used the plug and play option so far, I am going to start DIYing some of my own Chia mining rigs because I'm finally starting to get some of my time back. And not everyone understands that, like, I've been so strapped for time that like I haven't had time to sit there and figure this out and, and above all, enjoy it to any degree. I, I, I love this stuff, I think it's really cool, but if you have no time, you can't enjoy anything. You could be doing your favorite thing in life, and if you're so backlogged in all this other shit you need to do, you're not gonna enjoy your hobby, you're not gonna enjoy your favorite thing. So I've just been running and gunning, and, and really, I've been actually more fixated on the infrastructure. Because you could use an air-cooled setup, right? You know, say like uh, we have our mini pod for Bitcoin mine, right? And this is air-cooled, fans on it, intake vents, you know, blowing air through the whole time. It's fine, but it's dirty in there and it's hot in there. Hard drives are more delicate equipment and they're kind of expensive for, you know, what they are and what you get. So running them in a basically akin to a data center environment makes a lot more sense, even though it costs more sense. See what I did there? Long term, right? So I want my expensive hard drives, you know, just kind of baking in there, doing their thing in an air conditioned room, like my own little DIY data center. So that's why mini splits have been baked into the hard drive mining shed plan. Uh, I've decided to up what I'm gonna be doing with it. So I'm pulling an entire 200 amps uh, to that shed. 200 amps when it comes to hard drive mining, especially XCH farming. Oh my gosh, 
I could run a ton of gear and still be able to account for a mini split. Putting in two mini splits, so one, if it gets absolutely crazy, I've got reinforcements, but even more so, um, I've got redundancy. If one goes down, I turn the other one on, and the whole operation can stay operational while I replace or repair the other unit. Uh, downtime is one of the biggest killers of rookie miner farms that I've seen. Uh, some guys have some good operations that due to many different reasons, they, they stop, freeze, get halted or whatever. And uh, ultimately that leads to them just not really making it. I don't know, you know, how this will all pan out for me in the long run, but, but I can assure you that it's not going to be because my gear was turned off. No, 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 no. Uh, so that's really my Chia mining update, touching on helium, kind of looking at some of those similarities there. Things aren't going as great as I love them to be, but it's a great opportunity to do some building, to do some expanding. I mean, you build in the bear and you take profits in the bull. As far as I'm concerned, we're still in a cryptocurrency bear market. It's still time to buy miners, buy coins, expand. And then when things start going up, it might be time to do some last minute additions. Uh, and then hopefully when things are going up, up, up crazy, you now it's time to do a do a hard drive mining dance. Okay, like that rhythm. And <laughs> then, um, then we're gonna take some serious profits. We're gonna cash that shit out. And then uh, things will blow up and implode, everybody will cry. And then we'll just start stacking away again. And the cyclical nature of all of this continues. The only thing I hope that's not a cycle, right, is just really more of a one-time action is you clicking that subscribe button and stick around here on the Voscoin YouTube channel. If for no other reason to just see what the hell happens with my crazy crypto journey, because I can assure you I will keep it interesting and lively and, and uh, I don't know. It's, 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 <laughs> We're going to go up or down, just like a crypto, that's for sure. Uh, so that's all I got. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you on the next video.